Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and you won't believe where I am. I'm actually about a half hour outside of Munich, Germany. I, uh, somebody uh, just like you uh, called me up and said, hey, would you like to come over and do a private class for us? I said, absolutely. So here I am. Uh, if you can't tell, uh, this is not my normal setup, uh, so I'm a little low on the volume. Uh, because, well, A, I'm in a hotel, and B, uh, I'm on my laptop, and the microphone isn't as good. Uh, I also, uh, if you, you can see, I'm sporting a uh, scruff here because uh, I basically just got off the airplane, <laughs> and I'm afraid to go to sleep, because if I go to sleep, that's it. I, I really won't wake up. So I figured I'd shoot you this video, and I would uh, teach you something that I learned. In fact, this is something that uh, one of the GP Answers folks who took my course taught me. So I wanted to share what he learned uh, with me and give it to you. So check this out. This is really weird. So you can see here on uh, this is a Server 2008 R2 machine, and over there is a Windows 7 machine. And inside the policy definitions where all the ADM, X, and ADML files live, turns out my friend Chris, who took my class, which I taught him, taught me something back. And here's what he taught me. He showed me that here in Server 2008, for instance, there are um, two files that start with the letters AD. So you can see here, um, add, remove programs, ADMX, and ADFS, ADMX. Okay, that's totally cool. Let's go over to the Windows 7 computer and run that exact same test, okay? So if we do stir AD star, hey look, we only have one ADMX file. So what Chris discovered is that on Server 2008 R2 and on, on Windows 7, they actually have a different set of ADMX files. Uh, what does this mean to you? Well, actually, before we even go into that, let me show you what else Chris figured out. Chris showed me that if you do a, like a, this is a, uh, an output of a, uh, of a comparison utility to show A versus B here. And so on the left, you'll see all the ones that we've got here listed as the, the ones from um, Windows 7, uh, from the Windows 7 machine. And the ones on the right are the ones from, um, no, sorry, the ones on the left are Server 2008 R2, and the ones on the right are uh, Windows 7. And if you look, most of them do, in fact, match up, okay? So most of them match up, but take a look. Like I said, this ADFS one only lives on the left, which is Server 2008. And if we actually keep going down, you see most of them match, but uh-oh, check this out. On the right, this one only lives on Windows 7. Wow, that really, that really threw me because my understanding was that they were all equal, Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2, and that was not right. So what do we just learn here? If you're going to use the central store to um, house all of your ADMX files, what do you need to do? Well, you need to actually, it's no longer one step, it's really two steps. And the two steps are to figure out the full complement of both the stuff on the Server 2008 R2 machine and also the stuff that's exclusive to the Windows 7 machine. Or if you're using the Windows 7 machine, also grab the stuff that's exclusive to the Server 2008 R2 machine. So just to make this easy for you, on the blog, okay, and the blog is uh, through the email that you got this, and I'll try, I'm not a big uh, YouTube guy, but I'll try to put the blog post link here in YouTube somehow if I can figure out how to do it. Um, and then the point is, is that I've got a list just to, just to make it easy. You don't have to work your brains out and try to figure out how to make this comparison tool work. I've already done the hard work for you. And I've listed the stuff that's exclusive to Server 2008 and the stuff that's also exclusive to Windows 7. So the point is, when you go to set up your central store, or if you've already set up your central store, what are you going to do? You're going to find the ones that you missed and bring those up there. And that's it. You'll have a full complement of everything you would need. So I do want to thank uh, Chris uh, uh, to say uh, uh, this was a really cool tip. I hope you thought it was interesting. Hello from outside Munich. And uh, I guess I'll be seeing a lot of you guys at upcoming Win Connections and Tech Mentor and hopefully some of you in my upcoming Chicago class. And I promise I won't be jet lagged uh, for any of those events. Thanks so very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, take it easy.